It's because this storm is quickly moving to the east at about 65 to even 75 miles per hour. This warning goes until 3.30. It likely will be extended. So you see that's just for a little over an hour now here for Boone and DeKalb counties. Winnebago, Ogle, Lee County, severe thunderstorm warning out until 3.15. So for about the next hour, this too will likely be extended uh, as that storm begins to move off to the east. We've got new severe thunderstorm warnings coming out for portions of Stevenson and Joe Davies County until 245, as well as Carroll County and Whiteside County. However, uh, that particular leading edge of that thunderstorm is actually now moving out of the area. So let me take the warnings off of this and kind of look at what we're uh, looking at, kind of go section by section uh, here with this particular thunderstorm as it's moving into uh, Winnebago County. This is a separate supercell thunderstorm, which could pose a uh, hail threat. Uh, um, with it. Um, in fact, we've had some reports, some previous reports of uh, some egg sized hail, hail that's been uh, over an inch in diameter back across the Freeport area. So, this does uh, have a history. This particular storm that's now just getting close to the Rockford area does have a history of producing some uh, hail and also winds. Winds could be gusting 60 to 65 miles per hour with this particular storm. This storm is moving off to the east. So, this will be moving into the Rockford area. Area fairly soon, and we're also looking at uh, areas like South Beloit, uh, Roscoe, Rockton, McChesney Park, Loves Park, uh, New Milford. So, if you're in this warned area, you want to make sure that you seek shelter with this first storm. When this storm moves out, we've got another line, a more uh, substantial line of storms that extends from northern uh, Stevenson County right down through Freeport, now getting into western sections of Ogle and Lee County. Uh, this is for a storm that's moving off to the east at 65 to 70 miles per hour. So this particular thunderstorm is going to produce and has had a history of producing winds upwards of 70 to even 80 miles per hour. So the leading edge of this storm is actually just getting into the Freeport area. So this is round number two uh, with this particular thunderstorm. So heads up for you folks. In fact, I think it'll be um, in some of these areas actually um, fairly soon. So, Rochelle, you're looking at just a little under an hour. We might actually be talking more about 40 to 45 minutes for you as this storm comes in uh, here around 310, 315. And this is really what we're kind of paying attention to with this particular storm um, as it moves in from the west. Again, this Boeing line structure um, with this storm as it's moving into uh, north central Illinois um, here this afternoon. Good news for us, this is going to be out of here rather quickly. The bad news, it is going to produce some pretty significant wind damage uh, for some of us. So we could very well end up seeing some widespread power outages and even some damage. So far, have not had any local reports of damage come in, but you can actually see some of the wind damage uh, and tree damage just with the storm as it moved across central and eastern Iowa. So this has been a very long-lived thunderstorm as it started early this morning moved across Iowa and is now moving into northern Illinois. So once again, severe thunderstorm warnings continue up and down from Wisconsin uh, up here into northern Illinois. Severe thunderstorm warning out for, let's run right through them, Green County until 2.30. Um, we've got severe thunderstorm warning for Winnebago County, Ogle, Lee County until 3.15. Two thunderstorms are going to impact us. We had two thunderstorms, kind of two clusters of storms move through uh, Stevenson and Joe Davies County, and that's for uh, this one particular storm that's right here in, let me take these warnings off for you, that's right here uh, in Winnebago County. This storm, kind of a supercell structure with it. This one could have some uh, hail, up to quarter sized hail um, associated with it, and this is just getting into the Rockford area, um, but also really paying attention to this Boeing structure and this Boeing line of storms now as it's moving through Freeport, um, getting very close to the right at German Valley, um, Byron area, Oregon, um, Amboy, Franklin Grove. Heads up for you guys, uh, this storm is going to quickly be moving in your direction. Wanted to show you the potential wind speeds that we could actually have with this uh, storm here. If we look at the velocity or how we measure the wind inside that thunderstorm, you see some of these brighter colors, these brighter reds. Well, this is indicating uh, radar estimated wind speeds upwards of 70 to even 80 miles.
miles per hour. So um, you want to take this storm uh, serious as it has had a history of producing um, wind damage just back off to the west. And while some of the wind uh, reports might not be quite as strong as what they had back in Iowa, nonetheless, this is still going to do some damage. And we could see some power outages and even some uh, tree damage associated with that. So again, looking at uh, some of the velocity with this, and this is all indicating uh, straight line winds. Uh, with this particular line right in here, don't necessarily see any rotation. I think we just took a power hit or at least had a power flash here at the station. Uh, might be just my lights. Nope, there it goes again. So it's getting into the western parts um, here with that one uh, thunderstorm that I told you about over Winnebago County not associated with this line. But this is all indicating uh, wind damage. I don't see any rotation uh, indicated here on radar just yet with this particular thunderstorm. But what I want to draw your attention to is the northern end of this. And what we're looking at where you're starting to see a little bit more kind of rotation, um, some very, very broad rotation associated with that. So what we are going to be looking out for is the potential for these quick little spin-ups along the leading edge of this uh, Boeing segment as it moves across northern Illinois here. Uh, right now, the worst of that is getting into the Freeport area, uh, passing through Forest and Mount Morris, Oregon, already through Polo. Heads up, uh, Dixon, this storm is knocking on your doorstep. Again, this storm storm is racing off to the east at 65 to 70 miles per hour. And the, the problem with this is these storms, the winds associated with these this line of thunderstorms, this Boeing segment, this is going to last for a solid 20 to 25 minutes. I mean, so we're talking about a prolonged uh, wind event potentially um, with these thunderstorms, at least a substantial amount where we could have some pretty decent and substantial winds. So uh, once again, we've got uh, severe thunderstorm warnings out for much of the area. Times vary just a little bit, but where we're really kind of paying attention to is the storm that's uh, moving into moving through, I should say, Stevenson County into uh, Ogle and Lee counties here. And we've also got this separate thunderstorm uh, now actually just moving into the station, and this will be moving into the Rockford area uh, fairly, fairly soon. Um, there was a little bit of broad rotation earlier with this storm as it was located um, over the uh, Pacatonica area, over the Freeport area. Um, and there is still a little bit of broad rotation with it, too, right in through here over Winnebago. So kind of keeping a, a close eye on that. Um, but I think hail, if we put on our hail uh, core, you're going to see potentially some uh, up to quarter-sized hail um, associated with the thunderstorm. You're looking at hail possibly just a little over an inch. So that's a little over uh, quarter-sized hail if we were to, um, to look at that and to measure that. Um, and again, some broad rotation with that particular storm uh, moving into Rockford. But once that moves out, then you've also got this next line of thunderstorms as this is moving through parts of Stevenson, Ogle, and Lee counties here for us this evening. All right, so we've got a tornado warning out for southeastern Greene County and uh, western Rock County. So let's look at this storm a little bit more uh, in, depth, in depth here. This is uh, radar indicated rotation near Monroe. All right, so let's take the warnings off of this. Let's look at this. Let's look at our velocity. All right. So right here, right between Broadhead and Monroe um, here in Greene County. This is where we're looking at some of that rotation. This is moving to the east at 25 miles per hour. So we've got a tornado warning that has been issued for southeastern Greene County as well as for West, western Rock County. And this warning goes until 315 here this evening, uh, this afternoon, I should say. Um, this is radar indicated. No reports of any tornado, but you see some pretty decent rotation um, associated with this particular thunderstorm right here. So let's zoom in. A little more and look exactly where that rotation is right along uh, 11 between Monroe and Broadhead uh, getting up towards um, 81 
this storm is, is moving through. So um, again, we've got some uh, radar indicated rotation uh, with this thunderstorm. Um, the storm is moving off to the east at 25 miles per hour. So this is in Greene County. So tornado warning has been issued for Greene County as well as for Western Rock County. And that warning goes until 315. We have also have additional severe thunderstorm warnings uh, for much of northern Illinois uh, here. Okay, let's, do you know where he is? Okay, can you find out where he is for me? All right. Uh, meteorologist Joy Marino and Kevin Doom are actually out uh, with these thunderstorms um, and have been chasing us here. We've got a live picture for him. I just want to find out where he is before we uh, actually take this. My guess is he had situated himself just to the northwest here of uh, Rochelle. So hopefully we'll get that picture up for you uh, fairly soon of the uh, shelf cloud um, rolling in. We've got continuing coverage uh, both uh, here as well as on um, our Eyewitness News Facebook page and my uh, Facebook page as well. So while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and look to see what we've got because the warnings have been uh, lighting up here uh, for us so far. So here we've got um, the picture coming in. This is from meteorologist Joy Marino. I do believe that he is just to the northwest here um, of the Rochelle area. So he's looking at the line of thunderstorms um, that have uh, the severe thunderstorm warning out for um, potentially 70 to 80 miles per hour. Right now he is located in the Hillcrest area. So that is just northwest of Rochelle. So he's viewing this thunderstorm, this line of storms, as it is moving in uh, from the northwest. So if you are watching us before that storm has even made it through um, your area, this is what you're going to see um, as the storm comes in. And I want to point out a couple of features with this, um, with this thunderstorm as it uh, moves through. Maybe we'll be able to pop uh, uh, back up the uh, weather wall here. Um, there you go. Hopefully, we'll be able to get that back up. Oh, nope, we're not. All right, so what you're looking at right now is the um, uh, shelf cloud associated with this particular thunderstorm. So again, this is uh, meteorologist Joy Marino who is uh, looking at the storm. He's located out in the Hillcrest area. So what we've got is the approaching uh, shelf cloud with this, and he is streaming this on our Eyewitness News Facebook page. Um, and his uh, Facebook page as well. Um, so you'll be able to follow along with his, uh, his uh, trek down there. But this is a storm. He's just outside of the Rochelle area in uh, Hillcrest. Um, they are watching the storm as it comes in. And you can actually see how quickly uh, that storm is moving in. Let's go back to um, our radar because I want to uh, kind of come back to some of these thunderstorms that we've got uh, moving through and the severe thunderstorm warnings that we've got. So Let's run these down because there is a lot here to talk about on this map. So first and foremost, tornado warning out for Green and Rock County here in south central Wisconsin. Um, yeah, give me one second, one second. Um, so we've got um, tornado warning out for Green and Rock counties. Um, we're trying to get some audio here with meteorologist Joy Marino so he can kind of talk to you a little bit about what he is uh, looking at. Um, so tornado warning out for Green and Rock counties, as I had already mentioned. This is radar indicated rotation. So we do not have any confirmed tornadoes uh, yet with this but you're looking at um, just to the west and southwest here of Broadhead and Spring Grove as the storm is moving into eastern portions of uh, Greene County. Um, so the rotation, we're, again, radar indicated rotation, but you still want to take this serious because we've had um, some um, quick spin up tornadoes, at least some indication of that. So you want to make sure that you take this uh, warning serious. You want to get into the lowest level of your home uh, in your basement. If you do not have a basement, you want to get into um, the lowest level of your home, uh, interior room, away from windows, put as many walls between you and the outside uh, as possible. Again, so you're looking at maybe a closet, uh, an interior closet or an interior uh, bathroom. Uh, no windows, and that's for this particular storm that does have a tornado warning with it now, uh, just to the west and southwest of uh, Broadhead and just north of of Spring Grove. This is here in Greene County. Let's go back to, so we've got that tornado warning. We've also got a thunderstorm 
now coming down across the Rockford area. Let's look at the velocity with this real fast. This does have a little bit of some broad rotation um, associated with it. Um, we're looking at just to the west here of Rockford and uh, right along the uh, 20 and uh, Springfield Avenue. So kind of here on the west end of town. Um, again, watching that for some broad rotation. Nothing that indicates it's tightening up or anything, but keeping a close eye on that. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning for Winnebago County, and that goes until 315. Also watching um, the storm here for uh, moving into western sections of our area, so moving through Ogle and Lee County, um, we're also looking at the potential for some damaging wind gusts. If we look at the velocity, now all of this is just showing uh, straight line wind. So this is what I'm most concerned with, with this line of storms. It's, it's moving in uh, now near the, just south of Winnebago actually, and uh, moving through much of Ogle and Lee counties, this is going to be uh, primarily a wind producer. And we could have winds um, in excess of 70 miles per hour. Again, the storm has had a history of producing some pretty significant wind damage back across portions of Iowa. So a lot to kind of look at here uh, with this. I do want to go out to uh, Joey, who is actually, I want to get to him real fast uh, here. Um, he is near the Hillcrest area, uh, out storm chasing uh, meteorologist Joey Marino, as well as uh, Kevin Doom to kind of tell us a little bit about what's going on. Joey? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. We are live in Hillcrest, Illinois, where we're watching as these storms continue to push eastward uh, through the state line. As you can see behind me, we have a massive shelf cloud. Uh, you can see just the structure of these thunderstorms as they push on through uh, the state line. Now, with the shelf cloud that's on the leading edge of a thunderstorm and behind it, it's going to be some heavy rain and also some very gusty winds. Now, these thunderstorms have had a history of producing very gusty winds as it made its way through Iowa and also making its way into northern Illinois. In fact, out in Cedar Rapids, they reported a 112 mile per hour wind gust as these exact storms made their way through uh, eastern Iowa. And just right now, they just put off the tornado siren here uh, in Ogle County here, just outside of Hillcrest. I don't know if you can hear it, but they just put on that tornado siren because of how strong these wind gusts have gotten uh, moving through uh, the area. So you can see just behind me how dark it has gotten because of these storms moving in. Uh, right now, we do have the shelf cloud moving right over us, and you can just see off in the distance how dark it's gotten because of the rain, heavy rain with this storm and also the uh, widespread damaging winds. And now, so far, the warnings for these storms have had 80 to 90 mile per hour wind gusts as they've uh, trucked through areas. So that's what we can kind of expect as these storms move into Ogle County, Lee County, also DeKalb County, and then as they move uh, towards the Chicago Metro. But uh, live from Hillcrest, Illinois, I think we need to get out of here pretty shortly because winds are going to be picking up a bit. So uh, we'll keep you updated from the field, Kevin and I will. So live from Hillcrest, Illinois, from the uh, First Warren Weather Team, I'm meteorologist Joey Marino. Back to you. Thank you so much, Joy, for that uh, report. Yeah, I wanted to get you out of that situation because that storm is moving there quickly. And as he mentioned, he does need to go and uh, reposition himself because you saw the skies get a little bit darker and darker and darker. So this is kind of what we're looking at right now. And you could hear the sirens uh, with that live report. Uh, they are out in uh, Ogo County. Their only tornado warning we have right now is for Green and Rock County. This is in southern Wisconsin. Uh, that's actually for some rotation that is just uh, near Near the Broadhead area as that storm is moving off to the east. Um, so if this holds together, it could come very close to the Janesville area and even kind of keeping an eye on you folks there in Beloit. Um, we've got severe thunderstorm warnings out now for McHenry County, Boone County, pretty much all of us with this leading edge of these thunderstorms. We've kind of got two clusters of storms that we're kind of keeping an eye on here. Uh, one super south thunderstorm that's moving through the Rockford area. This primarily could have some hail with it. I've had some reports of some hail in 
initially when it was back towards Freeport of uh, egg size and even uh, golf ball sized hail, but quarter sized hail possible with that particular thunderstorm. But watching this line of storms, and I want to go back to how, where you heard the tornado sirens uh, with this. Just a severe thunderstorm warning out for Ogle and Lee counties. So if you do hear the sirens uh, issued for that, uh, my very best guess would be they are issuing that because of the uh, high winds associated with these thunderstorms and the threat for those thunderstorms. Just got a report here of some hail in the Roscoe area. So that is with the thunderstorm that I just talked about, um, kind of moving through the Winnebago County area uh, right now and moving through um, um, the Rockford and up towards the Rascal area. So let's look at the velocity with this particular storm. Again, it's very, very broad. Um, nothing that sticks out that would say we need to watch this particular storm with uh, the tornado threat. I don't see that. I think hail might actually be our, our primary threat. Um, hail cores have come down just a little bit um, from what it was even just about 15 to 20 minutes ago. But still, you could have uh, upwards of quarter sized hail. Right now, we've got hail size radar estimate of just a little um, under an inch. So that's quarter sized hail right there. And even some gusty winds and some really heavy rainfall too uh, with that thunderstorm. But let's go back up to the north here uh, with this storm that does have the tornado warning associated with it. Um, this is for Green and uh, Rock counties. This warning goes until the tornado warning goes until uh, 3 15 here for us this evening. So just a uh, about uh, 40 minutes or so, just a little under, actually about 30, 35 minutes. Um, let's look at the velocity on this particular storm because it is still showing some velocity with it or some rotation, I should say, with it. Um, still some decent rotation right in through here. Um, so once you're north of 11 and just to the west of the Broadhead area. So if we were to kind of uh, time this out just a little bit as that storm moves off to the east, these are kind of the areas that we're looking at here as that storm moves into western Rock County. So now we're in south central Wisconsin. But again, you saw how dark that sky was with uh, Joey's live shot as he was out uh, just outside of the Hillcrest area there in Rochelle. And that's with this line of thunderstorms that uh, does have the um, severe thunderstorm warning. Again, this storm is moving off to the east now at about 70 miles per hour. So if we put a storm track on this, it is not going to take long before that storm gets in uh, to portions here, Boone and even to Cal County. So if you are watching us in this area um, and the storm has not come to you just yet, you want to take the necessary precautions now. Um, you don't want to wait until that storm is over top of you because once you do, it is going to be too late and you could have some winds. This storm has had a history of producing 70 to 80 to even 90 mile per hour wind gusts back when it was out through Iowa. It might not pack quite that strong of a punch if we look at some of the wind reports and so far they've been few and far between for us at least locally, but you look back at the history of some of these reports just from this morning and this early afternoon. So severe thunderstorm warnings continue, keeping an eye on that tornado warning here across Green as well as into Rock County across south central Wisconsin with this line of thunderstorms. Wind is going to be our biggest threat with this. Again, if you are in the path, that storm has not moved in your direction. Again, if you are in the path of the storm, you want to make sure that you seek shelter indoors, away from windows, preferably the lowest portion uh, of your home. In the event we do get a 70, 80 mile per hour wind gust, we're taking some power hits here at the station. Um, so you want to make sure that you uh, heed these warnings, get inside, and if it's not too late, then you want to make sure that you bring your stuff in. So if you're watching us from, let's see, Boone County to Cobb County, you've got a little bit of time, not a lot, a little bit of time to take some of those precautions and uh, get indoors, take some things that can blow away in the wind, bring them in, and then hunker down because this storm is uh, moving through rather quickly. We're going to continue to keep you updated here as we go throughout this morning or this afternoon, I should say, uh, with these updates. I'm going to check the uh, warnings that are coming out really quickly. 
uh, before I let you go to see if there's any new additional information. And along with the wind, you're also going to have some very, very heavy rainfall um, associated with this, uh, with this storm. So you're going to have some very uh, strong wind-driven rain uh, with the, this line of thunderstorms as it moves off to the east now at about 70 miles per hour. Um, so we'll keep you updated as we go throughout the remainder of this afternoon. We'll have a full report for you coming up tonight at 5 and 6. Any additional warnings, storm reports, we'll be sure to keep you updated here as we go throughout this afternoon. Live continuing coverage uh, as well as online. Warning goes until 345 here this evening. So once again, new tornado warning coming out for southeastern Winnebago County and southern Boone County. This warning goes until 345. This particular uh, thunderstorm, which has radar indicated rotation with it, was located just uh, over Rockford, actually just to the east here of the Rockford area and moving to the east at about 25 miles per hour. Again, this is radar indicated rotation uh, with this 
thunderstorm. Um, nonetheless, we still have a little bit of rotation that has been seen with that. So as we pull on our velocity, let's pull up our warning. What we're looking at right now is this rotation that's been located here. Let me take these warnings off and you'll be able to see right over the Rockford area. Just a little bit of rotation that's kind of picked up here. Um, it's a small area of rotation, but nonetheless, we have that over the Rockford area. So that's why the warning has been issued. This is radar indicated rotation. Um, this has not been indicated by any spotters, but you want to take this seriously because it does mean that this particular storm could produce a very quick uh, spin up tornado um, if that were in fact to happen. So let's look and see kind of street level what we're looking at right now where we've got some of this rotation just to the east here of the downtown Rockford area. So what we're kind of looking at um, areas from Alpine uh, up to uh, Riverside, pretty much between about Riverside and uh, 20. So State Street, once you're here in uh, downtown Rockford, that's kind of what we're looking at for some of this rotation. Again, this is radar indicated rotation with this particular thunderstorm, but we do have a new tornado warning coming out for southeastern Winnebago and southern Boone counties, and this goes until 345. So this is actually for another hour that this uh, warning has been issued for. And if we zoom out a little bit, you're going to be able to see where we've got um, a little bit of this rotation where the winds are coming in towards the radar and where you have wind that is coming out and away from the radar. Um, so you've got some broad rotation here just on the eastern and northeastern end here of the downtown Rockford area. So if we were to uh, time this out for you as the storm moves to the east at um, 25 miles per hour. We're looking at some areas that could potentially be impacted. Um, Cherry Valley, even though it's not showing up on here, um, this storm will be close to you within the next five minutes. Belvedere, um, right around three o'clock, a little after three. Uh, Timber Lane, just a little after three o'clock, 310. Poplar Grove, uh, a little after three o'clock, about 305, 310. If this storm uh, continues to hold on to its rotation, again, this is radar indicated rotation with this particular thunderstorm that is now uh, east here of the downtown downtown Rockford area, but we do have an active tornado warning for southeastern Winnebago County and now Boone County, and this goes until 345. This is all associated uh, with a line of thunderstorms, and you don't on radar, it doesn't really look like we've got um, a lot of rotation. This is a, a Boeing segment uh, coming through, a line of thunderstorms coming through, really merging into that line line um, as it uh, moves off to the east. This line as a whole is moving to the east now at about uh, 70 miles per hour. So if we were to put a storm track on this, this is jetting off to the east very, very quickly here and uh, will be in, uh, impacting areas uh, even a little bit further into Boone and uh, DeKalb counties uh, very, very soon. So just within the matter of um, about uh, 20 to 25 minutes or so. But again, our focus is on the northern extent and sometimes with these lines of thunderstorms you can get these little areas of rotation and that's exactly what we're seeing uh, with this particular storm now that's uh, moving into east and southeastern Winnebago County uh, just to the northwest here of uh, Cherry Valley. So if you are anywhere from let's say from McChesney Park down to Cherry Valley. Um, what we're looking at right now is the rotation, and it's broad rotation, but it's there. The broad rotation of that storm um, right now is uh, just to the west of Alpine. So Alpine Road here uh, in Rockford on the east and on the east side 
of uh, Rockford, that's where we're starting to see this broad rotation right in through here. But if you're really anywhere from the McChesney Park to Loves Park area to Cherry Valley, you need to make sure that you are uh, seeking shelter with this. Um, since we do have a tornado warning, again, radar indicated rotation, and that's what you see as that storm has kind of uh, moved further to the east, merged a little bit. We had a couple of thunderstorms that were merging uh, just a little bit um, a while ago, um, and you've got a little bit of rotation that has uh, developed with that. Uh, even if we do not get um, a tornado with this thunderstorm, you are still potentially going to get some winds upwards of 70 to 80 miles per hour. So this is still going to do some pretty significant damage as this line of thunderstorms roll through. But right now what we're focused on is that tornado warning that has been issued until 345. So this is now for the next uh, 50 minutes or so uh, here for east, central, and southeastern Winnebago County and Boone County. So Belvedere and Cherry Valley, you are included in that uh, warning. So being in that warning, you want to make sure that you are seek shelter in your basement. If you do not have a basement, it's the lowest level of your home. And again, I want to point out uh, where exactly we are seeing some of that rotation. So I'm going to take the warnings off and I'm going to stay with this um, just because they are so active um, with that here. Um, so I am going to stay with this as long as this warning uh, does continue. I'm going to come back out here uh, on the wall. So hopefully we're, we're all set to go with that. But here we are in uh, eastern Winnebago County and southeastern Winnebago County. And you've got some of that rotation where you see the green and the red coming in together um, associated with that. So here we're looking at Guilford Road. You've got Alpine right here. Uh, green indicates the wind is coming in towards the radar, and red indicates that the wind is coming away from the radar. So uh, we've got this line of thunderstorms rolling through, which will have some very heavy rain. Uh, even outside of a tornado threat, you still have uh, winds that could potentially be as high as 70 to 80 miles per hour with this thunderstorm. We've got now a new scan uh, with our radar coming in. So now we're getting closer to the 3990 uh, interstate here that goes up uh, north into Wisconsin, but still actually almost looks like it's tightening up just a little bit as the rotation now is kind of getting up closer towards the uh, Riverside uh, Boulevard area and getting closer to that interstate 90. So if you're anywhere in this location, uh, Rockford, we are in the clear. The, the rotation associated with this uh, tornado warning is just up to the northeast of here. So uh, we are in the clear with that. Um, still, there are some pretty hefty thunderstorms coming through, but that rotation is just to the northeast here of the uh, downtown Rockford area. So for anyone uh, from Guilford up to, um, let's say, just north of Riverside, this is kind of the area that we're watching as that rotation comes in here uh, over Interstate 90 and 39 as it moves into southeastern and eastern Winnebago County. And now we'll be moving into uh, Boone County. Also, I want to run down some of the warnings that we have additionally to some of the severe thunderstorm warnings that we have um, with this. And you can almost see, actually, um, almost see a little bit here of kind of a notch coming in with that, um, the, the thunderstorms, where we've got uh, a little bit kind of, of an inflow uh, right in through here um, with that. So what we're actually looking at is... Um, well, now that I'm looking at this too, let me, okay. All right. Um, so we've got the leading edge of these, uh, this line. It's now getting into uh, Boone County. It's up here just south of Rockton, um, up towards Belvedere now through the uh, Kirkland Fairdale area, getting down towards Esmond and uh, out through Malta. Um, but what I also kind of draws my attention to a little bit, and we've got new tornado warning out for um, Boone County, um, moving to the northeast now at 30 miles per hour. So let's put on our warnings where we can see this. So getting just a little bit concerned here 
As I mentioned before, that rotation is starting to um, tighten up just a, a little bit more with that last scan um, that I showed you. So this new tornado warning coming out does include now the Poplar Grove area, um, Caledonia, um, Capron, uh, Candlewick Lake, um, Candlewick Lake, Timberland, um, just a little after 3 o'clock, so within about the next 10 minutes, Poplar Grove, you're looking at a time uh, roughly about 310, and Capron, if the storm continues on its path, we're looking now here at about 320. So as I mentioned uh, just a little while ago, um, the rotation with this thunderstorm, let me take the warnings off of here, the rotation with this thunderstorm is actually starting to um, tighten up just a little bit. And I don't know with that. So some areas that we're looking at and roads that we're looking at uh, with this uh, rotation. So it's just to the east and southeast of the McChesney Park Loves Park area. So for those that are along the um, Bell School Road, it's getting very close there to the uh, 3990 interstate. Um, so right in through here from the Riverside area, from Bell School Road, uh, between Alpine, Bell School, and uh, Riverside, and even now um, up towards um, 39 in itself. So you go a little bit further east here on Riverside and up towards Argyle. Um, we're really starting to see that rotation kind of tighten up just a little bit here uh, actually with that. So let's go ahead and put a storm track on this. This storm is moving, it shifted a little bit to the northeast at about 30 miles per hour. So if you are in the path of this storm, uh, you wanna make sure that you seek shelter indoors, um, away from windows, get into the lowest level of your home possible. Again, this is radar indicated. We do not have any confirmed tornadoes with this, but this is radar indicated rotation with the northern end of this thunderstorm as it is moving through uh, here and moving out of Winnebago County and now getting into western Boone County. So we're really going to be watching areas uh, from like Capron and Caledonia, uh, Poplar Grove. This The strongest part in the rotation part so of the storm might actually move just to the uh, north here of the Belvedere area but nonetheless Belvedere you're still under a tornado warning as that line of thunderstorms comes in so even though this is radar indicated you still want to take this serious uh, basement if you do not have a basement it's the lowest level of your home interior room preferably a room that does not have any windows with it the idea here is you want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. So again, we do have an active tornado warning. Uh, the worst part of this storm is moving out of the Winnebago County area. And this is getting into uh, the Boone County area right now. So uh, just from north of Belvedere up towards Poplar Grove, as it's kind of shifted a little bit more up to the northeast here, it's actually coming up along uh, 173. So now that rotation kind of crossing over over uh, Interstate 39 and 90, and now coming up towards 173 for us here uh, this afternoon. So if you're up around the Poplar Grove area or um, uh, the Capron, Caledonia area, you want to make sure that you uh, seek shelter. Again, this is radar indicated rotation. Let's put on our uh, active tornado warnings that we have associated with this. Um, and these warnings go out until 345 here this evening. Um, we also have some additional severe thunderstorm warnings. Let me go back here on uh, radar. Now with the storms that are moving through uh, Kingston and Genoa down through Sycamore, right down through uh, 23, uh, DeKalb getting into uh, central and southern DeKalb County, you've got some active severe thunderstorm warnings with this line. Um, this could in itself produce winds 70 to 80 miles per hour. And I do want to go back to the velocity with this um, because while we have that rotation, now getting through the Winnebago and Boone County line, um, there's also 
um, along the leading edge, a little bit of rotation um, just to the northwest here of the um, Genoa area. Right now we've got just a severe thunderstorm warning out, but it is possible that with that we could also uh, get a quick spin-up tornado. Um, so that's why you want to heed these warnings. The good news for us is the worst of this is now moving to the east and soon we'll be moving into McHenry County. It'll be moving out of DeKalb County and it'll be moving in towards the Chicago area um, because this storm is moving so quickly to the east at about uh, 70 miles per hour. But where you actually get these little notches, um, and that's kind of what I want to show you here, where you get these little notches right in here, that's where we could have some quick uh, spin-ups uh, with tornadoes. So where we're looking at the velocity, um, and I don't see much of that coming in here from the Milwaukee Weather Service radar. I see a little bit of it um, on the Chicago radar where you've got the red and green. Again, this is not significant rotation. It's broad rota rotation, but it's on the, on the little notch that we had and we, when we looked at the reflectivity with that. So again, you want to heed the warnings uh, with that. Um, because even a 70 to 80 mile per hour wind gust is still going to do some pretty significant damage. Um, let's see. New warning or same warning coming out. Warning remains in effect uh, for Lee Ogle severe thunderstorm warning in Winnebago counties until 315. So that's just a little under 15 minutes here. Uh, the storm is moving to the east now. It's located from near Cape Brin uh, all the way down through Waterman. So that's all the way down here into uh, southern uh, DeKalb County uh, here in Waterman. Um, that storm is moving off to the east now at about 70 miles per hour. So it is booking, guys. Um, if you're watching us from the west, so if you're watching us out here. Um, good news. The worst of it is over. So from Monroe to Freeport to Polo, really anywhere west of uh, 39, we're for the most part in the clear. The exception to that is going to be up here in northern Winnebago County um, and Janesville as well. We do have uh, severe thunderstorm warnings out for Green and Rock County and even Walworth County until 3.30 here this uh, afternoon. But our focus is with this. And, and you know, guys, I really want to... Um, I don't know if it's possible to pull up the poplar grove. We've got kind of our, our quad view on that, so I don't know if it's possible to, um, to pull up the uh, poplar grove camera. I'd probably have to do that uh, here on my own. But let's look at our velocity with this once again. Still, still showing some, some rotation with that, but also showing um, a little bit more of a wind signature getting up towards 76, so up towards the um, Poplar Grove area, so Illinois 76, uh, radar measuring wind speeds upwards of 60 miles per hour. So again, even if we don't get a tornado with this, we could still get winds on the order of 60 to 70 miles per hour. And where we see actually a little bit of that brighter green showing up here, so from Caledonia Road, from Caledonia, uh, right down through, um, let's see, what are we looking at here, uh, Squaw Prairie road. Uh, anywhere between there, uh, radars indicating some uh, pretty substantial winds kind of bowing out a little bit with that. The tornado warning for southeastern Winnebago County has been canceled. The worst of that storm has moved out of the area. So again, a uh, new radar image coming in. Now we're looking at uh, northwestern Boone County here. So we've got a uh, tornado warning that does continue for Boone County, and that warning goes until 345 here. So we're still showing some rotation um, associated with that. But once again, that tornado warning for southeastern uh, Winnebago County has been canceled. So that is definitely some good news for us. I'm just looking Looking at some of the velocity with this, and that rotation has kind of weakened. It's become a little bit more broad as it's moving into northern portions here of Boone County, um, but um, it's still there. So it's radar indicated rotation, uh, thunderstorm located over Candlewick Lake or near Poplar Grove, actually just to the north here, the Poplar Grove area, moving to the northeast at 30 miles per hour. So we've kind of shifted our direction here as that storm moves off to the northeast at 50 miles per hour. So if we put a storm track on that, 
and we continue to look uh, some of the areas where we could see the impacts from this. So if you're anywhere now, we're kind of into a little bit more of the rural area, uh, northern Boone County. Uh, but nonetheless, if you are in the path of this storm, you want to make sure that you seek shelter. So remember, um, basement. If you do not have a basement, it's an interior room. You want to put as, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. You don't want to pick a room that has any windows, a bathroom or a closet like that that has windows um, because that can do some damage. So what we're kind of looking at with this, you've actually got a little bit of an inflow coming in with this, all right, and you've got this storm right in here. So this is kind of why we're seeing that rotation. This is on the northern edge of this Boeing segment of this line of thunderstorms um, as it's now moving through DeKalb County, uh, likely producing some pretty significant winds. So far we have not had uh, any um, wind damage reports, at least locally from what I can see. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, perfect. All right. So let's go to the Poplar Grove uh, SkyTrack. This is kind of what we're looking at. This is our SkyTrack camera out uh, in the Poplar Grove area. I don't know if anybody in the newsroom uh, can hear me now, but if uh, somebody could come in here or maybe bring somebody in uh, here into the Weather Center uh, just real fast. But this is what it looks like currently out uh, at the Poplar Grove Airport. This is our SkyTrack camera. Um, you can see visibility is very, very poor. The worst of this uh, is um, just to the north and to the northwest where we've got uh, that rotation um, associated with that. So moving into northern uh, Boone County, but you can see the very heavy rain and even the wind too um, associated with that uh, particular storm. So let's go back to our radar scan. Uh, thanks so much, Brad, for that because we still do have our uh, tornado warnings that do continue. Now I'm not overly concerned right now. Um, just looking at the velocity um, Belvedere, um, the worst part is now to your east. So you are um, in the clear. You're still going to get some really heavy rainfall, but any, and um, probably some gusty winds, but um, any rotation is now up to the north of us um, with this uh, thunderstorm. And um, so the rotation associated with the northern edge of the storm now getting up towards um, what we're looking at is 76 and uh, elevator road. Um, so kind of into the northern and northwestern portions of Boone County. So we still do have that active tornado warning that does continue until 345. And again, this is all radar indicated rotation. Um, so we have not had any confirmed reports of uh, any tornadoes just yet. Looking at, I, I see a couple of uh, damage reports coming in from Carroll County, um, some wind damage associated with that. Um, let's see. Getting some reports of a possible um, tornado. Going to have to look into that. Um, some quarter-sized hail. Um, but again, this is all radar-indicated rotation uh, with this particular storm as it's now moving into northern uh, Boone County. So again, if you are in the path of that, uh, that warning goes until 345. You want to make sure that you uh, seek shelter and remain indoors as that storm passes um, through. Um, nonetheless, you are going to get some very strong winds, which in itself could also do some pretty significant damage um, here um, on the order of 70 to even 80 miles per hour uh, with that. So the rotation that um, happened with this and why we're seeing that, we don't have a, a supercell structure per se with this storm. We've actually got a line of thunderstorms and a Boeing uh, segment here that's really maintained itself uh, and likely will be classified as a derecho, um, but has maintained itself all the way from the plains early this morning through Iowa. And if we look at a lot of the, the damage reports that we have, there's a, a few reports that are starting to come in here uh, from around the Rockford area, some hail reported in Freeport, um, some uh, damage here, let's see, around the Forreston area. We're looking at multiple trailers um, blown over by wind, numerous trees down in the Forreston area. Um, these are some of the, the damage reports that we're getting. So we are starting to see them trickle in uh, just a little bit. 
um, tree damage, um, estimated wind with this particular storm uh, from the Rockford area, um, 60 mile per hour wind gusts. So um, this has really maintained its strength. The good news for us is the worst of it now is continuing to move off to the east um, with that. There is a new tornado warning coming out. This does include far eastern DeKalb County. Um, so this is moving into the Kane County area. This is east of DeKalb, east of Waterman. And this is actually right near the DeKalb and Kane County line. So this is moving out of our area. So for southeastern DeKalb County, that new warning coming out until uh, 345 here for us. But uh, this line of thunderstorms in the leading edge of the storm now moving into uh, the Chicago area. Um, just looking, too, at some of the reports that are coming in, Dixon uh, reports of some wind damage uh, down in that area, power uh, out in the uh, Garden Prairie area. We're starting to see the warnings canceled now um, out to the west where the worst of this has uh, passed through. So uh, warnings canceled for Green and Stevenson, Carroll and Whiteside counties, Joe Davies County, but that warning still does continue. Uh, Winnebago, Ogle and Lee County, although that warning does expire here at 315. But our active concern that we're paying a little closer attention to is with the uh, tornado warning that we do have. Belvedere, you guys, the worst of it is to your east. Even though you are still under that tornado warning, the worst of it now um, is to the east of you, where we've got that rotation on the northern edge. This is a bookend vortice. So on the northern edge, uh, sometimes of these, these lines of thunderstorms, you can get these, uh, these rotations and this broad rotation, and that's what we've got. As it kind of crosses up now over Elevator Road, it's just to the north here and west of 76, and then up towards uh, Manchester here in far northern Boone County. County. This will soon be moving into uh, southern Wisconsin, and this will soon be moving into southeastern Rock County and then into Walworth County. But still, we could have some uh, still some gusty winds uh, where we're actually looking at some of these brighter uh, greens here showing up on our velocity scan. Uh, winds 60 to even 70 miles per hour. So this is right along uh, here, uh, Capron Road, uh, just to the east of the Poplar Grove area here in uh, northeastern and eastern. Boone County. So uh, McHenry County, heads up for you folks. You've got that storm working in uh, your direction too. And we go down our, our velocity here. Let me switch this over real fast. We go down the velocity. You can actually see the, the leading edge now um, with the strongest part of that storm working out now of DeKalb County. So that's good news. We can say good riddance to this storm um, as we've had some uh, damage and some reports uh, come in with this. But this has been a monster of a system that has really worked in from the east. But again, kind of eyeing this uh, storm. Again, haven't had any reports yet, um, just yet of any confirmed tornadoes. I do want to look. Had some reports of some quarter-sized hail um, in uh, the Belvedere area in Boone County. Um, some reports so far. Um, the storm reports are starting to trickle in now that the storm has kind of passed uh, off to the east. Uh, so some storm reports coming in back off to the west uh, for us here. But again, the good news, the worst part of the storm uh, continues to work off to the east. You're still not out of the clear, though, uh, in Boone County. And if you are under that tornado warning, you want to make sure that uh, you heed that warning and get into your basement or the lowest level of your home as we still have that active tornado warning that continues until 345. The worst part of that storm uh, kind of moving in here now and getting into far northern Boone County and we'll move up towards southeastern uh, Rock County and then into Walworth County. What you actually kind of notice here too uh, is on the northern fringe of this as we've kind of put this in, in motion, uh, you actually almost kind of see this little clown or counterclockwise spin coming in behind it. It's possible that we could actually get some winds, uh, some gusty winds on the back side uh, of this. So even though the worst of that storm has moved out, you could very well be getting some um, uh, gusty winds on the back side of this as we might even get a little bit of a wake low that develops uh, as a result of that. Um, so let's run down these warnings real fast. Um, I'm going to continue our, our Facebook Live here uh, once we, we get off air, but we do have um, 
tornado warning for Boone County. Um, Belvedere, you're included in this warning, but again, the worst of that is to your east, so you're coming out of the clear here. Um, got a report of some marble-sized hail just north here of uh, Capron, um, and also a report, as I mentioned, we've got some strong winds gusting there in the Freeport area. Um, so, you know, you're going to get some strong winds, too, even on the back side of this, uh, outside of any um, severe thunderstorms associated with that. But here we've got a uh, tornado warning until 345 for the Boone County area. You've got severe thunderstorm warning for DeKalb County, uh, and then a new tornado warning out for eastern DeKalb County, although the worst part of that storm is now moving into Kane County, so it will be moving out of the area. So if you are in the northern Boone County area, you want to make sure that you seek shelter. Um, rotation starting to kind of uh, broaden up a little bit uh, here north of Poplar Grove. Wondering if you're uh, out of the clear there um, or in the clear, I should say, and uh, give it about another 10, 15 minutes or so um, as the, the worst part of that rotation, that broad rotation is moving up to the northeast. Um, so give it about another 10, 15 minutes and you'll, you'll be in the clear there. But where we're kind of keeping an eye on some of that rotation here as it moves up into Wisconsin now, uh, kind of up over the Hunter area. And then here we are now in southern Wisconsin from Rock and Walworth counties uh, up through um, 67. That was a really big thunder here. Um, so again, the worst of that storm is to our east. It continues to move off to the east. If you're under that warning, you've got about another 15 minutes or so. Tornado warning for about another uh, 20 minutes uh, for Boone County, northern Boone County, heads up no northwest, McHenry County, heads up, and uh, getting into Walworth County, heads up for you. There are going to be some gusty winds on the back side of this. You're going to get some strong winds, too, uh, kind of coming in with some of these showers and even some of these thunderstorms, too, on the back side of this. But we're starting to see these warnings now uh, canceled or expired from west to east. I'm going to continue to keep you updated here uh, on our Facebook pages, so be sure to follow those as we go through the rest of this afternoon. For now, I'm going to return you back to regular programming.